everyone, it is Crystal with Pineapple Papers and welcome to the Sunday Sketch. So super excited that Moira and I are continuing Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life, um, her lovely sketch series that we are doing on Sundays. So we are using this sketch and I believe it was from her third time of doing that. So definitely head in the description box below and head over to her channel and see her original take on this. So in the sketch, there were a couple things that I was drawn to. The first thing that I was drawn to was the little dots. So immediately I thought that I would do some mixed media. I have this stencil, I believe... It is from Heidi Swap. So um, I am putting that on the background just to kind of get an idea of how that max media is going to work. At this point, I don't know what kind of media I'm going to put through it. I don't know if I'm going to use a pen and draw the circles or if I'm going to use some paint or gesso or at this point, I just don't know. I just know that I want to use the stencil. So I put it there. And then in the sketch, it has kind of a big piece of pattern paper. So I am going to use this kind of chevron wood grain. And then I actually have these four pictures of my son pitching. And the plan is to kind of put them in order. Um, and initially I get them out of order. So I have to rip it up and then re-glue it back down. But the nice thing is my plan was to put them all together. So you weren't going to see any of the rip. So the collection I am using is from Simple Stories. And I really just wanted to use a fall collection. I haven't used any fall collections in a while. And I knew I had this bit from Simple Stories that I got almost two years ago now. Um, and I wanted to pull it out and use it. And I know this is not necessarily a fall photo, but I'm going to go with it anyway. So... I was super excited because with my last video, I had lost my scissors. I didn't even know where they were. And I walked in to my craft space the other day and I saw them and they were over by my sewing machine. So super, super excited. So I did go ahead and back the photo with um, two pattern pieces of paper. And now I am going to pull out this pasties in cream. And it, I'm just going to give a little texture to the background of the paper. I don't want those dots to be like, hey, look at me. I'm a bunch of stencil dots um, on the background. So I, it's kind of a tone on tone. So you'll get it and it, it's going to appear more texture like than, um, than like a focal point. Like I don't really want it to be the focal point. So I am going to clean off my stencil and um, put it over to dry. And then I will kind of continue to uh, work a little bit on the layout. So now it is pretty much dry and I am going to piece it all together. So I am going to start with this big piece, which... I love this piece of paper. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. So I've got that part down. I'm going to put my photos down. And then I am going to kind of figure out what is it that I want in that top section. In the sketch, it has a big title. So I'm kind of trying to figure out what I want for a title. So I have two chipboard sheets as well as... A couple of sticker sheets. So I am super drawn to this one in particular. And I love this big word that says thankful. And 
we are very thankful for all of the time that Lucas gets to spend on the field and all of the support that he has had. Um, so I figured it was an okay title for this particular one. Plus I didn't really want to dig through my stash. I just liked what was in this kit and I just wanted to use it and I kind of wanted to use it all. And I do have a thing for chipboard. I absolutely love it. So I went ahead and basically punched out all of the chipboard from this particular sheet. And that's what I'm going to use. Like that's going to be my big embellishing. So, um, the pieces that I don't end up using are the ones that tend to have kind of that blue in there. Um, and that's just because there's not really any blue, but in the sky, um, so I don't use a ton of that. Um, and that's, so, I don't know, maybe I use all of it, but like six pieces, like I kind of killed the chipboard in one layout and I love it. I love how the layout turned out. So I'm happy with it. I'm okay with that. So I'm looking at the other chipboard sheet to see if there's anything else I want to bring in. And then since I kind of have an idea of my how my clustering is going to work, I go ahead and look through the sticker sheet and I'm only going to pull this wreath like that. That's it from the sticker sheet. So I want to make sure that you check the description box below and head over to Moira's channel as well. Um, I'm super excited to see what she does with this sketch because she has just done some amazing, beautiful layouts. Um, like everything that she has posted lately, I'm like, I need to scrap lift that. I need to scrap lift that. So, um, I'm sure today will be no exception. In the sketch on the top and the bottom, there is a couple of pieces that look like they could be washi tape. So in the kit that I got, it did come with a couple of pieces of washi tape. So I am going to use them. And now that I'm looking at this sketch in the bottom left hand corner, it almost looks like um, it's folded up and I kind of wish I would have done that, especially as a little bit of a homage to Christy and kind of like our older style, um, with the folding of the paper. So I may go double check and see what's on the back side of that paper. Oh, sorry. And, um, and see if I could add some of that. So I'm just going to finish it off with some Spiegel Mom scrap sequins called Hannah's Pasture. Um, and I'm almost done with this mix. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, those uh, ones look like neon green, but they're really not in life. So it's interesting how, um, how the light is picking up on those. Because looking at it here, I'm like, those don't even match, Crystal. But... Um, in real life, they're not neon. So, um, I'm sorry. They look like that. They're really kind of that yellowy color there. So if you have any questions, let me know. Um, if you're playing along with the sketch, um, please tag us. So we would love to see what you are doing. And we do this series every Sunday. So we'll be back with another sketch next Sunday. Remember to wear your crown. Bye.